Hi, I'm John Storms, and my toy for today is this little gizmo here. He's really tiny, and what this is, is this is a Raz clock. So what this does is this goes onto the Raspberry Pi. You can, If you have your Raspberry Pi hooked up to the internet, you can get your timing protocol from the Naval Observatory and any other NTP site, and if you have multiple Raspberry Pis, that can be used to keep them in sync. I plan on keeping mine off the internet, so in order to have a clock source, I bought the Raz Clock. And this is a real-time clock, and they claim to have wonderful accuracy. They also claim that it comes with a uh, CR1220 CR uh, 3-volt lithium battery, which mine didn't. I couldn't find it in any store, so I ended up ordering this off of Amazon and having to wait. So... Let me pop one of these guys out. Okay, so I need to put the battery in with the side that's marked with the, with the plus, the positive side, facing away from the RAS clock PCB. Alright, so it goes in there, just like that. See, so now he's all nice and snug. Now, the next thing is we put him on to the, the Pi board, and he just goes on the first couple of pins here. Nope. Now of course I have the Raspberry Pi unplugged. There. Okay. Now that's all nicely seated. That's all there is to installing the thing. Uh, so the next part is just powering up the Raspberry Pi and running FPP and doing the next step. Okay, so now that I have the RAS clock uh, set up with its battery and it is now and it's connected to the Raspberry Pi, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the Raspberry Pi via the web, and I'm going to go to config set time, and I'm just going to follow the instructions that are on the Falcon Christmas Wiki. So basically, the first thing you do is you go over to the configuration time, the set time which is under status control, and then for real-time clock, I select RAS clock, NTP I set to disable, and then I set my time zone. Let's see, I am central time, U.S. central. And then I manually set the time. So let's see, it is 2015. Slash month, 01, January 29th. And the time, according to my iPhone, is 5.25, so military time. That would be 1725. 26. Just change. Perfect. And I hit submit. It says waiting. Waiting. And boom. It's done. And it says I need to reboot. So I'll go ahead and reboot it. Okay, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, they say that if uh, you're gonna put the Raspberry Pi away for a long time, you take that clock away. Uh, you need to take the um, uh, you take the battery out so you don't ruin the battery. The battery will die over time, so if you're not using it, it uh, it'll wear out. But um, that's all there is to setting up the RAS clock. And again, the reason to do that is so that I can have a uh, real-time clock and I could have multiple Raspberry Pis reference that clock. So this would be the master and others would be the slaves. Um, plus, I don't need to rely on uh, something out on the internet to provide me my time. So I like that a lot. And that's it.